Hey, Thrawn here. Uh, Hi. Today we're back with a reply to Demo Man Chaos. And uh, he had stated that when we did the one that's advocated by uh, uh, Matthews, and that everyone believes that they used was the underarm, with kind of a uh, twisting hip thrust and putting the arm into it, uh, that I didn't get enough uh, hip into it or leg. So we're going to come back and test that out, uh, compare it against the uh, the uh, overarm uh, or over, overhand ward uh, thrust with the gigging style and the sliding style, and even possibly the underarm. We'll do that real quick here. Uh, I want to state also that a lot of people said it's difficult uh, to switch grips. If this is set up correctly, normally this would be a bronze ring inside here, but this is kind of a loose grip where the hand is. It's not totally loose, but I mean, it's where you can get your hand out the way it's set up to grab something. So you can hold another spear here. You can hold the dory here. You can hold a uh, javelin. And you can take it out for whatever way you want, whatever grip, to switch grips, you can easily do it. It's not that hard. I mean, not that you couldn't switch it otherwise, but saying if you were in a formation and you could switch it, you could put the spear here while you're using another weapon, or you're pulling out your uh, your Xyphos or, or whatever, what have you, your Copus, I mean, whatever you're using to fight with. But uh, today we're going to go ahead and test this out, and we're going to try with a little more hip. Uh, we're we'll holding about where they're advocating. Make sure I'm in a good area where there's lots of mud because we've had lots of rain. It's been uh, really cold near freezing. It's one of the nicer days we've actually had. So that's what we're out here trying to do to reply. I plan on doing a lot sooner. So this would be in their idea of a loose formation or a formation where you're up here and you're allowed to open up to thrust so you can put more into it. Like and my idea when I was testing, I was testing as if you were trying to thrust over the top and try to maintain the shield here in, in a nice uh, cohesive manner with the other people in, in the actual shield wall. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. I'm going to try to thrust this barrel, see if I can get through it, if I can find any good footing here. Oh, uh, we got a nice big mark in it, but no penetration. Do it again, try to use a little more power. I get a good position where I get everything behind it. I don't know if you can see, I put everything I could behind that. And we knocked it. See if we can try that with the sliding style here. And if we get a different result. And I'm actually out of range, technically, what most people would think. If I'm holding it here, you know, I can't really reach that target. Let's see what happens if I get a different kind of thrust. a little bit high, but we got a penetration, it's right here, let's try again, knocked it back as well, I'm trying to hit the same spot I hit before, that wasn't bad though. There it is. Right. I made it through with the other thrust. And I know there's one where I didn't make it through and the one where I put a nice little hole that's not as deep as you can see it. But this is very difficult to go through this type of material. I don't know if anybody knows this. This is what they use for armor a lot of times with some uh, historical reenactment groups like the SCA. But it's very thick plastic. They you know, use pieces of this to make shields out of. And we got through it. It's very tough material. Whereas if I was trying to use the other technique, which will give it the benefit of the doubt, because everybody's going to say I just didn't really give it everything it had, I'll even draw back as far as I can and everything. I'm not getting anywhere near the same type of penetration. It's just not happening. Try it again. Different part of the barrel. Let's try again and everything. Yeah, I just don't see that working. It's more of a push. I am getting something, but it's like so small of a hole. There's no major pin. It's more like a dent. Yeah, it's nothing. It's just the reason the other one's working it's not is if you watch, just so everybody gets it. I'm only moving it this far. Watch my arm. With my body and everything, I'm only able, even if I get in close, it's like me punching with a dagger. Even with the body and everything behind it and how much arm I put. And the reason I wasn't throwing my shoulder over in the other videos 
With this spear like this, even if I get it at a good balance point, it's even weaker trying to do that. So it's, you're going to get even weaker blow trying to do that. And it's very awkward. The reason my arm looks like it's being thrown over with the other is because I'm using a different different group of muscles and I'm throwing it. So yes, me leaning forward actually helps with that. And I don't need to step. You know, I can literally throw it, which is different. But let's go ahead and try to see another idea here. People were saying you can't stab low with it. That when it's up here like this, you know, there's no there's no chance of hitting anybody low or anything like that, which I disagree. If you were throwing down at a foot and it was out in front of you, and they didn't expect it, you can actually throw directly into the foot or whatever you're aiming at. It's, it would be the same thing as if you were holding it in this kind of manner, and trying to do this, which they see I just did it. We're running the same problem, we're getting it. It's moving around where I have another target here. This one, if you can see, actually has a lot more penetrating power. You can see the actual cut into it. Let's see if I can do a little better here. I'm in mud. There we go. That's what I was going for. If anybody saw what happened compared to us trying to push it, compared to the acceleration, we actually made it through. The reason why is watch my arm. I've got this much range of motion. If you count from this point here on the ground, how far is the spear traveling before it even slides? I'm throwing it and then letting it slide into my target. I'm actually throwing it, letting it slide, and then pulling it back, right? So I have this range of motion here to the target and my whole body. That's why it's advantageous to throw with it and then pull back. And I'm not stepping right now. I'm trying not to. It's a habit of mine. I step about a maybe a quarter step, like a little, a lot of times, but that's just a habit to get more momentum when I'm doing it. Uh, it wouldn't actually help for me to do that little quarter step with the younger head much. I mean, I could do that too with this, and it's not going to help much, even with a little stick. I just don't have the range of motion. With this one, look at the range of motion. If we're holding it like over this, and I've got this drawn back, that's my range of thrust. I use something as a reference. If I had this here, and we've got this here where it's back, Look at the difference in the range of motion without me even sliding. I've already gone over three feet compared to about a foot. So that's that's what I was trying to explain. It has to do with mechanics and actually throwing the spear. Let's see if we can get a good result going underarm. Excuse all the mud, guys. I really apologize. But I believe underarm, they could have done this. You can't do this in a felon. So I can't draw back and throw this way. Ah. I hit quite low. Alright, right, one more time. You just don't get the same power, but you can do an under rough slide or under rough throw. Try to be out of range, see what happens. Even with the actual extra range of motion, I still have to look at anything. The overarm still seems to be way more powerful. <clears throat> Try one more time just to see. Yeah, I'm trying. One more time and that's it. <laughs> it's just not doing it. It's pulling off the same thing even with the other arm. Now, are we saying none of these had any power to penetrate people? No, we're just saying that the over overarm ward or the overhand thrust with the sliding throw using the whole shoulder and the body has more reach you can hit things that they don't believe you can hit and uh, way more power we made it through that uh, which is almost impenetrable it's very difficult to pierce with a sword or anything that I've ever tried on but anyway hope you all enjoyed the episode I tried my best we haven't had good weather but we'll be back with you with the medieval shop weapons we've got some good analog heads coming out maybe some torsos and we're really looking forward to testing those out for medieval shop be sure and subscribe, like us on uh, Facebook, uh, 
request to be part of the boat crew. It's our closed group, but I mean, you're you're invited as long as you party well with others and have a good time and hang out and uh, are polite. You're definitely a member of the group if you don't want to be. Anyway, see you all later and farewell.